Hey guys, what's up? Seven Stop here, and this is just a quick video I wanted to make to help my fellow age adders um, just to figure out how to do this. So, if you have been age adding, if you use YouTube as immersion material, you might notice that you're getting ads in the wrong language. So I'm going to explain why that is based on my experiences. This is not I'm not some engineer, or some tech guy. I mean, I kind of am a tech guy, but I'm no engineer. I don't know how YouTube works. So this is just based on my experiences. But basically, it seems like your ads are mainly mainly chosen by your IP. So like if you're in the United States, you're going to get English ads or maybe Spanish ads if you watch like Spanish videos. So it seems like it's a combination of of different factors of like but mainly your IP so if you if you you set your location like me I, I set my location to Japan and then set my language to Japanese here so if you do that and whatever your target language is I'm making this for Japanese um, age adders and MIAers and my age um, because most of them probably are studying Japanese, but I'm sure there's people studying other target languages and this exact same thing would apply there. So yeah, set your country, set it to the country where your language is spoken and then set your language, obviously that language. Um, and obviously do this on a secondary account. Don't do this on your a YouTube account that's in English, I assume if you have one. Um, and but if, if you do this you'll notice that you're still getting ads in English you may also get ads in Japanese or whatever your target language is if you watch lots of target language videos and stuff but it doesn't work solely based on the videos you watch so here I'm gonna explain how to fix this like almost 99% of the time occasionally you'll get an English ad I've gotten them but it's really hard it's not very common at all like you could go days without getting a single English ad um, and so yeah that and obviously you don't want to get English ads because it breaks the immersion even if it's a short amount of time although in your target language like in Japanese I noticed that there's still ads that use English songs and stuff so you might still get exposed to English um, but first of all first fix is to use an ad blocker but it, a lot of people don't like to use ad blockers if you have some moral qualms with ad blockers or something that's totally fine so Here's my method to get around it. Oh, look, I'm not a true age adder. It's in English. But anyway, you want to download this program, Proton VPN. You can do it with pretty much any VPN that, that offers like uh, connections in Japan or whatever your target language is. Like I chose this one because Japan is, uh, is available here to connect. It's a free location and you can have unlimited data for free. That's why I chose this VPN. I think you have to sign up on the website or whatever. It's not that hard. Um, here's VPN or like soft soft ether VPN I'm pretty sure Matt recommended this in one of his videos um, yeah so you can use this I don't really know how to use this and it's way more complicated so I mean I'm sure I could figure it out and I know you can download open v VPN servers and use public servers and stuff all that jazz and I'm pretty sure with this program you could connect to pretty much any target language so just keep that name in mind, Soft Ether VPN. If you're connecting, or if your language isn't spoken in Japan or in the Netherlands, which is the other location here, or I guess the United States. But I assume you're English speakers if you're on this video. But anyway, that's neither here nor there, or under there, or up there. Um, but yeah, let's go. You can just connect to Japan here. And then when you do that, you shouldn't get many English ads anymore as I said you may still get a few every once in a while but for the most part you won't get any English ads um, and uh, for me this isn't very useful because I use an ad blocker but on phone which is where I watch YouTube the majority of the time majority of my immersion is there this same program is on phone also has unlimited data on phone and you can also connect to Japan for free on phone so this is a lifesaver for me since you can't really block ads on phone unless you're using some fishy like YouTube plus app or you have a jailbroken phone which I do have but I don't want to put my account into any of those sort of apps and potentially have my information stolen so anyway yeah the same method works there but unfortunately if you speak uh, or if your target language is not Japanese or Dutch um, that's probably going to be an issue because this is soft ether VPN isn't on phone as far as I know but in that case you might have to pay for a VPN service 
but if whatever whatever it's if it's worth it for you whatever <laughs> that the VPNs can also be used for lots of other things as well like Netflix and all that stuff so if if that's what you want to do go ahead if not if you're if Jap Japanese is your target language this program works perfectly just disclaimer I don't know anything about their privacy policy really I've heard they don't collect logs but if they're stealing your information, it ain't my fault. I don't really care about that stuff. But if you do, buy a VPN. Don't get a, a free one because they pretty much all do that to some extent. But I mean, the paid ones do the same thing. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. This is my random AJAT MIA tip. I hope you enjoyed. Um, subscribe, I guess. But I won't be making more of these probably for a while or if ever, if, unless I come up with some other method. Um, but thank you for watching. Bye.